Imagine a clock that ticks, without a clockmaker. No gears. No pendulum. No battery. Just the universe itself, beating in rhythm, on its own. That's not science fiction. It's what physicists call a time crystal. A structure that repeats not in space, like an ordinary crystal, but in time. And according to a team at TU Wien in Vienna, time might have just revealed another one of its secret rhythms, one born not from order, but from the chaos of quantum uncertainty itself. Nature loves patterns. The Earth spins, the Moon orbits, waves crash and return. A pendulum swings with mechanical precision, each motion identical to the last. We've always thought of these rhythms as things imposed from the outside, caused by gravity, by energy, by a clock's design. But what if rhythm could emerge on its own? What if a collection of particles with no outside force keeping time started moving in a perfect beat anyway, all by themselves? That's the haunting idea behind a time crystal. It's as if time itself decides to freeze and repeat, like a cosmic metronome ticking to an invisible tune. To understand how strange that is, let's go back to something familiar, ice. When water freezes, it changes from a chaotic liquid into a crystal, an orderly arrangement where every molecule has its place. In physics, we say that the liquid is symmetric. It looks the same everywhere. The crystal breaks that symmetry. Suddenly, the world has directions that matter, up, down, diagonal, because of the repeating atomic structure. Now, imagine the same thing happening not in space, but in time. Instead of atoms arranging themselves in a repeating grid of positions, their states repeat in cycles. Not because we force them to, but because the system wants to. It's like a frozen moment that keeps coming back, a heartbeat in the fabric of time itself. For years, scientists believed that these time crystals could only appear in very special conditions, usually in clean, isolated quantum systems like ultra-cold gases or superconducting circuits. And even then, they seemed fragile. Quantum fluctuations, those random jitters that come from uncertainty itself, were thought to destroy the delicate timing of such systems. But the researchers at TUV just flipped that idea upside down. According to Felix Russo, a PhD student working with Professor Thomas Pohl, it turns out that these very quantum fluctuations, the unpredictable chaos we thought would break the rhythm, can create it. It's a bit like discovering that the random chatter of a crowd can suddenly turn into a chant, not because anyone decided to start one, but because of how the noise interacts. Russo and his colleagues found that, under the right conditions, Quantum particles in a two-dimensional laser lattice. Imagine a delicate web of light trapping tiny particles in place start to oscillate together. No external signal tells them to. The rhythm emerges spontaneously, born from the invisible correlations between the particles. Each particle is like a musician who doesn't hear the others but somehow keeps perfect time, because they're all connected through the strange, non-local logic of quantum mechanics. Russo explains it beautifully. It's the quantum correlations themselves, once thought to hinder the formation of time crystals, that actually stabilize them. In other words, the chaos is the conductor. To visualize what's going on, think of blowing out a candle. The smoke doesn't always drift randomly. Sometimes, it forms perfect, repeating rings, a rhythm that seems to come from nowhere. That's what these physicists are seeing at the quantum level. The system's collective behavior, billions of particles interacting in ways that no single one could explain, leads to a temporal pattern. It's not just motion. It's a kind of organization in time, an echo that keeps returning without any push. So why does this matter? Beyond the poetry of it, and it is poetic, this discovery gives us a powerful new way to understand complex quantum systems. Time crystals challenge one of the deepest ideas in physics, that systems left alone should settle down, reach equilibrium, stop changing. But a time crystal doesn't stop. It defies equilibrium, keeps oscillating, forever, in a perfectly stable, repeating cycle. That opens up possibilities for quantum technologies, 
from ultra-precise sensors that measure time itself to more stable quantum computers that resist noise and decoherence. And maybe more importantly, it forces us to rethink what time even is. Is time just a backdrop, a silent coordinate on a graph? Or is it something that can take on structure, texture, and rhythm like space does in a crystal lattice? Picture that for a moment, a grid of atoms held still in a lattice of light. Nothing moves, no hand ticks, and yet, a beat emerges. A universe whispering its own tempo. That's what's happening in the labs of TUV right now. And it's not just about particles or lasers, it's about seeing time itself as a living rhythm, capable of crystallizing into form. Russo and his team didn't just find a new state of matter. They found a new way time can behave. And that might be one of the most beautiful things science can do. Reveal that even in chaos, the universe sometimes decides to dance. So maybe the next time you glance at the clock on your wall, or watch the second hand make its endless loop, pause for a moment. That simple, mechanical rhythm, tick, 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 is just one of the many ways the universe keeps time. But somewhere, far from the hum of the ordinary world, in a quiet lab in Vienna, there's another rhythm beating. It's invisible, silent, and yet more fundamental than the gears of any clock. Inside a lattice made of pure light, tiny particles, smaller than atoms, governed by the strange rules of quantum mechanics, are moving to a rhythm that no human built. No battery powers it. No pendulum swings. And yet, it never stops. That rhythm is older than music. It's older than planets circling suns. It's a pattern woven into the very laws of reality. A structure not in space, but in time itself. Think about that. For centuries, we thought time was a straight line. A constant, unstoppable river flowing forward, dragging everything with it. But maybe, that river isn't perfectly smooth. Maybe it ripples. Maybe, under the surface, it vibrates, in repeating waves that shimmer through the quantum world. And when those waves align, when the fluctuations of countless particles find harmony instead of chaos, that's when a time crystal is born. It's as if the universe whispers, even time has texture. It challenges everything we take for granted. The idea of stillness, of balance, of what it means for something to truly end. Because the time crystal doesn't end. It keeps going, forever, oscillating between states like a heartbeat that refuses to fade. In that quiet laboratory in Vienna, humans have caught a glimpse of something extraordinary, not just a new phase of matter, but a new way the universe can express rhythm, order, and life. It's a reminder that even in the tiniest corners of the quantum world where uncertainty reigns, the universe is still capable of surprising, of turning randomness into music, chaos into choreography, and time itself into art. So maybe time isn't just something we measure. Maybe it's something that lives. Something that moves, repeats, and dances endlessly. Because sometimes, the most beautiful patterns in nature aren't the ones we design. They're the ones that emerge when the universe, quietly and mysteriously, decides to dance. <laughs>